Yesterday, the city of Lenexa, you, the Lenexa resident, I mean, just blew up our show during the 9 o'clock hour when we talked to Johnson County Commissioner Charlotte O'Hara about this low-barrier homeless shelter that is being proposed right off of I-35 and 95th Street at the old uh, La Quinta Inn and Suites is where they're looking. By the way, my wife saw on her, some of her mom's Facebook pages people talking about this. Oh, yeah. After our conversation. Is that right? That's right. All right. Well, you know what? We're reaching everyone everywhere at all times there, Mark, here on 95.7 FM KCMO. Hit that preset on the radio dial right now at 7.06. Um, but, yes, we had this thing buzzing yesterday with folks all over the next, uh, in particular, calling in about this. Now, where do things stand right now? Right now, the city of Lenexa is considering putting this location into play for a low-barrier homeless shelter, which means no one's going to check in on whether or not you're sober. No one's going to check in on forget your legal status. That's not going to happen. They're also not going to check in on whether or not you're a Johnson County resident. It is going to be a free-for-all. There will be 50 rooms For homeless folks at this location, we heard from business owners yesterday who were saying, you know what, this is something that really concerns me as they try to invest in that part of Lenexa, and they're not getting anywhere. We had some of you call in and say, hey, what about my kids? What about the schools that are within a mile? What about Oak Park Mall? You're going to have vagrants just, you know slumming around Oak Park Mall now and then heading back to the homeless shelter? Like, there are so many questions. It's not about being unwilling to help the homeless, whether it's me or anybody else. I mean, we do a tremendous amount of work here on this show, and I have emceed events for City Union Mission. It's what is the role of government, whether it's the county government or the city governments in this, and what kind of barriers need to be in place to not just help the homeless help themselves, but also protect the taxpayers who are funding this, John. Right. The low barrier part means we they're not able not what allowed is the word I'm looking to to ask where you're from. Yeah. I mean, it's like opening up a park or a campground. Mm -hmm. There's nothing even says these people be homeless. It could be criminal element just cruising by, hanging out a couple of days on back down the road, you know. Yeah. Just a stop off point because there's no particular requirements here. Especially, and you're right, and especially when you add in the fact that I-35 as a corridor is a major thoroughfare for drug and human trafficking coming up from the southern border. And now, could you have a nice little drop-off zone here at I-35 and 95th Street? It's possible. It's entirely possible. And this is part of what Charlotte O'Hara, Johnson County Commissioner, brought up yesterday here on KCMO. There is there is time. There is an SUP, Special Use Permit, that is going to be uh, come before the Lenexa Planning Commission on August the 26th. People should email into the Planning Commission. It's going to then go to the City Council on the 17th of September. And there there are a lot of people that have been involved, that are getting involved and really pushing that this needs to be done, if it's going to be done in a responsible manner and to have requirements so that we don't have huge issues in our community. So what we know after Charlotte O'Hara said that yesterday on the show is that there is now a growing belief that the Lenexa Planning Commission is not going to approve the special use permit. Now, that doesn't mean it's done. That doesn't mean you should not go to the Lenexa City Council meeting on Monday, August 26th. But this came down on Facebook yesterday from Shawnee City Council member Laurel Birchfield. Laurel Birchfield is somebody who is very much in favor of putting this homeless shelter at 95th and I-35. Because, you know, woke. She wrote on Facebook, if you, like me, support the Johnson County plans to create the first homeless service center for our communities... Please email the Lenexa Planning Commission now to voice that support. Planning at Lenexa.com. It is my understanding that Lenexa staff have communicated with the Planning Commission and Council. They do not recommend the special use permit. 
This doesn't mean the project is dead, but it's much harder for the Planning Commission and Council to support this now. That's why you need to email today and let them know you want the county to step up and care for our unhoused folks and work to end homelessness. Those who oppose it, folks who scream not in my backyard and don't help illegals, and I'm not willing to pay 76 cents to support this, they have already flooded this inbox. Now it's our turn. How disingenuous is that, by the way? She's saying not in our backyard. All right. Let, all right, Shawnee City Council lady. You putting it in your backyard or are you just like, rah, rah, yeah, put it in Lenexa. Yeah, sure. It's not in my backyard. You're really going to use the not in my backyard line when it's actually not in your backyard. It's easy to use that line when you are not invested in the location. When you are not the business owner who called in yesterday and said he wants to invest millions in that location for his business. And now he's got second thoughts because he's going to be right next to a homeless shelter. It's not about being unwilling to house the homeless. It's not. All right? That's not what this is about. Don't be disingenuous. If you are a person of faith, you believe in helping those in need. It's how you go about doing it. And what is the role of bloated government in all of this? Johnson County has already said they will spend over $10 million on this. As your property taxes continue to skyrocket year after year and they take more and more of your money and now they can throw it at stuff like this. Or is it the job of the private sector through donations, through faith groups like City Union Mission who actually have a plan to give people a hand up, not just a hand out, who actually have 100 years of success in this field? which City Union Mission does, and Johnson County does not. And on top of that, they want every city in the county to also kick in hundreds of thousands of dollars, which I'll get to here coming up momentarily on KCMO. 913-408-7957. Mike is on KCMO. Hey, Mike, good morning. Hey, good morning, man. I was just listening to this. I was thinking federal, state, or whatever, but then I thought, you know what? Uh, Forbes and Inc. and all these other uh, periodicals, they rate Oper- Overland Park, Johnson County as one of the top 10 or 12 peak places, 15 places in the country to live. You want to see it drop into the 50s overnight? You let this happen. If you want a public-private partnership, great. Use it in more of an obscure location that can be monitored and protected and not on a traffic line like you just said for fentanyl. And in a place where it's less less visible. I think that's a big deal. But these people in the commi- who are advocating this, they have, they have no common sense at all. They don't think long-term. But, yeah, you want to see us drop like a, like a, like a cement block in the Hudson River down our, in our ranking? Let this happen. Yeah, thank you very much there, Mike. You're right. The location is off. I mean, even if you're a fan of it, the location is horrific. I-35 and 95th Street, I mean, you know, you got Costco there. You got reasonable businesses right around the corner. The the location is awful for so many reasons. And that's just tip of the iceberg type stuff. Besides the fact that the amount of money that it's going to take and has already taken to get this thing off the ground is astronomical. 913-408-7957 Now, what is the role of the other cities around Johnson County? Every single city is getting asked to chip in here for security and for everything else. How much money is at stake? And already one Johnson County city is saying, no way. We'll tell you which one coming up on 95.7 FM. Yeah, run to that Lenexa City Council meeting, August 26th. Some good news being reported yesterday and the... um, Johnson County, uh, Blue Valley, what are they calling it now? It's had seven names. Blue Valley Post, Shawnee Mission Post, Johnson County Post, whatever it is, Post, uh, put out yesterday that it looks like the Lenexa Planning Commission will not approve of the special use permit to take the La Quinta Inn and Suites right off I-35 and 95th Street and turn it into a low-barrier homeless shelter. But still not a done deal. Because what you've got going on now is, you know, the wokesters all over Johnson County on city councils and pressure from County Chairman Mike Kelly saying 
hey, it's not done yet. Not done yet. Let's get this thing to a vote. And on top of that, as fellow commissioner Charlotte O'Hara said yesterday on this show, the rest of Johnson County is going to be asked to kick in some dollars here as well. Each of your cities, Overland Park, they're they're going to be considering theirs on the on the twentieth. Mm. And so and there's a theirs is hundred and fifty thousand. These are annual. These are annual payments. Yeah, that and, they're, will be made. and they're not stopping. They would just go on in perpetuity. Oh, and absolutely and will increase. And yeah, it's, this yeah. is a, like a bait and switch. It's mm-hmm. just, it is, it's unforgivable. And this is a continuation of, of uh, Chairman Kelly's agenda. I mean, December 2020, they passed a resolution prohibiting any expenditures of city money to help ICE. Mm-hmm. Wow. And this is ridiculous. That was Charlotte O'Hara yesterday here on KCMO. The entire interview is up on our podcast page, wherever you get your podcasts. So we do know that the Edgerton City Council, with a 3-1 vote, was the first to turn down providing funding for the shelter. Other cities, Leewood, Merriam, Fairway, Westwood Hills, have all agreed to pitch in. Spring Hill has committed to share, but only for the first year, rather than for the full five years. And other cities, Overland Park, Olathe, Prairie Village, Shawnee, have yet to vote. On funding this deal. So it would be, let's see, Overland Park, they'd be looking at uh, $150,000 for the first year. Olathe being asked for $112,000. Shawnee, nearly $53,000. So that's the kind of money that these cities are being asked to chip in for this homeless shelter that they are proposing right off I-35 and 95th Street. Now, Mike Kelly the Johnson County Commissioner. He went on National Panhandler Radio this week. And I'll invite him on the show tomorrow or Monday to talk about this. And he's been on the show before, and we'll see if he is willing to come on. I hope that he will come on, but I cannot make any promises. He told National Panhandler Radio that while this is a daunting challenge, quote, it's a manageable challenge. And with the opportunity to address some of those gaps in coverage that we have in our system of care, we have a real chance in Johnson County to functionally end homelessness. Come on now. You freaking kidding me? When's the last time the government ended homelessness? I mean, how many trillions of dollars have we spent over the last 60 years on issues like this? Have we ended homelessness? You could argue it's worse than it's been in a couple of decades right now around the country, John. It seems like they'd be setting up a program where to hire people to take care of this, you know, another level of bureaucracy. But in fact, they're suggesting that the employees, is it Restart? Yes. Is that the right name? I don't want to say the wrong one. Restart. Well, they're just training their employees. That's the security measures, right? Yeah. Right. We're not even creating a new bureau to go out and manage this. No. We're just saying, oh, no, the employees are trained up. And they know what they're doing. So we're just going to give them millions and millions of dollars for at least five years. And, you know, they're a good group. They'll figure it out. They know what they're doing, right? No. No. Look out for your own freaking taxpayers for once. Would you please? On the text line, Pete, the county is moving way too fast. They've already spent all the money without having all the details worked out. This is incredibly poor leadership. County staff knows about all these hoops and probably advised Kelly, but he is not listening. No, because I think this is all about politics in many respects and getting it, you know, pat himself on the back and say, look at me, I'm getting the homeless shelters done all over Johnson County. And this is what we need. And oh man, we are just moving in the right direction. It's not about not helping the homeless. It's not about not helping people in need. It's not about not having a safety net. But it's doing it in a way that is fair to the citizens, that is fair to the taxpayer, that's in the right location and is actually thought through in a productive and reasonable way. And this has failed every single step. Paul in Kansas City, you're on KCMO. Hey, Pete. Yeah, the uh, commissioner said he could solve the uh, homeless problem in Johnson County. I want to call Governor Newsom over in Sacramento, who has spent billions of dollars in California money and is now angry that uh, the results aren't what he thought it would be. Yeah, that's right. And now he's, I saw Newsom 
did a little photo op where he was cleaning up the uh, cleaning up the garbage under the bridges himself. Exactly. He's yeah. very angry that Los Angeles Mayor Bass and them are just a total disaster. So he might want to look at the mirror on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to imagine a guy like Mike Kelly, who's got political aspirations on the Democratic side of the aisle, can probably, you know, he can get Newsom's phone number. Maybe Sharice Davids can hook him up or something like that. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, thank you very much Thanks, there, Paul. Please. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous on so many levels. And this thing has not been thought through. And now you've got to lobby your city councils and tell them not to fund it because they're living high on the hog on your property tax dollars that they have gotten a windfall from the last couple of years. And especially in Lenexa, the pressure is on you guys as well.